Chester was born on a farm in Indiana back in 1845. Chester's mom and pa worked hard to give Chester and his brother and his sister the best possible life. But then in the spring of 1857, there was a giant grizzly bear eating all the happy young children in the area. So Chester, he snuck out one night and he killed that bear. It was on that very day Chester knew he didn't want to be a sod buster when he grew up. He had bigger plans in mind. Then one day in 1861, his dream came true when he joined the Union Army. My name's Chester. Mm -hmm. I'm 165 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm the last surviving Civil War veteran. Mm -hmm. I fought in many wars, mm -hmm. World War One and Two, mm -hmm. the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I even fought in the war on drugs. Mm -hmm. I liked that war so much. I fought on both sides. Mm -hmm. As I always say, without war, the world would be a peaceful place. Mm -hmm. That and that would be boring. Mm -hmm. Old Chester, he fought in many a wars. Some say the North might not have won the war if it wasn't for Chester. In World War One and Two, well, that was this Chester having the time of his life. We were all a little surprised he aligned himself with the dark side in the Star Wars. But Chester was quoted in saying once, he just wanted to know what it was like to lose a war. And the war on drugs? Well, I really don't know what to think of that. But one thing's for sure, the world would be a better place if we only had more men like Chester. Thanks, Chester. <laughs>